It's finally the weekend. No, it's Monday. I think I slept through the weekend. Let's just get into news. The Miller wrestling team is in need of managers. If any student is interested in the behind the scene activities of operating a sports team, this is the job for you. You'll learn about management, inventory, and much more. If interested, please email Mr. Bowers, Mr. Chris, or Mr. Metzler. The Millstream is holding a poll on their website at millermedianow.org. Head to the website to vote on your favorite album of the year. Now, on to trending today. Mexico's National Autonomous University is trying to save the axolotl, a type of salamander that is experiencing a population decrease. The university is asking the public to virtually adopt one of these little creatures for $10 to have enough resources to conduct research to bring these little guys back from possible extinction. Luis Zambrano, an ecologist at the university, is not worried and has full confidence the axolotl can be saved. Now, let's go on to meetings. Unified Cheer will be having cheer practice on December 5th and 7th during AL at 2.30. Contact Suzanne Wheeler for more information. What a great segment of news. Now it's time for sports. Let's play ball. Good afternoon, Millers. I'm Katie Swart and the weekly weather is back. The weekend was rough, but let's check out this week. Today it is sunny and in the 40s. Tomorrow the rain returns and the rest of the week looks the same, cloudy and in the 40s and 50s. We've got a new segment from our meteorology class. They're taking us a little bit deeper into the weather, so let's see what they have in store for us. Hi, welcome to Meteorology Monday, where we educate you about the weather phenomena here in Indiana. Fall really flew past. The leaves are no longer on the trees and it gets darker earlier. However, the fall look has not been followed by the fall temperature. Why is that, you may be wondering? This October has been the hottest October on record, and November looks to be following suit. In the Midwest, we get a warm, humid air mass from the Gulf of Mexico. This air mass has been warmer than normal due to increased ocean temperatures. These warm temps then travel up to us. The other air mass that hangs out over the Midwest is a cold, dry air mass that moves down from Canada. The air mass typically brings the cold temperatures we associate with winter. However, Canada is much warmer than normal, as you can see in our map. We expect this pattern of warmer than normal temperatures throughout the winter. Will we get a white winter? Tune in next time for more weather facts. Welcome back to sports. Wait, you're not Andy. Yeah, I'm Andy. Sure, let's get into it. Both the boys and girls swim teams crushed Franklin Central Tuesday night. The girls finished with a score of 108 to 75 and the boys with a score of 110 to 76. Shout out to Mia Field, Katie Sutton, Maya McDonald, Hattie Vose, and Ellie Hayward for winning events. Also shout out to the boys with nine event victories from Graham Culp as a double winner as well as Lane Monger, Shan Halverson, Aiden Kless, and Caleb Mathis. Keep on crushing it, Millers. Your Miller girls varsity basketball team lost a close game against HSC this past Wednesday losing 69 to 71. Congrats to Meredith Kipner with 25 points scored, Ava Shoemaker with 17 points scored, and CC Quigley with 17 points also. Catch them next time at Fisher's High School this Friday. Tristan Jari, the goalie for the Pittsburgh Penguins, became one of the 14 goalies in NHL history to have ever scored a goal, and the first goalie on the Penguins to score a point for the team. The Pittsburgh Penguins played Tampa Bay Thursday night. Tampa had an empty net, and Jari saw an opportunity to send the puck down the ice with one minute left in the game. Maybe the Penguins can turn it around this season. Now, on to sports tonight. Listen up, sports fans. Boys and girls swimming will host Lawrence North at 5.30. Boys varsity wrestling will take, a, will take place on Thursday at home against Franklin at 6. Girls varsity basketball will host Fishers on Friday at 7.30. Boys varsity will travel to Carmel on Friday and tip off at 7.30. The countdown begins. Only two more weeks until finals. But now it's time for the news to come to an end. Have a good Monday, Millers. No